Hello Fight Fans, in today's news. Colby Covington says Sean Strickland is under investigation for pistol whipping a man. Dana White reveals one thing he doesn't like about Conor McGregor. Brandon Moreno says he will take a break from fighting. Dana White gives an update on what's next for Tom Ospinall. Joe Rogan responds to Conor's claims that acting is harder than fighting. Colby Covington recently went off on Sean Strickland, revealing he's under investigation for pistol whipping a man in Vegas. You know, he was a uh, washout in my division. He, got, he couldn't handle it in my division. He got beat up, knocked out, you know, so he had to leave divisions because he couldn't cut it. So, you know, I think he's a bum. He's been hit in the head too many times. He's got CTE, so. Straight up. Yeah, straight up. Anything that guy says, you, you can't follow along. That guy's going to end up literally probably killing someone someday. He's under investigation right now in Vegas. Some drunk uh, guy was wandering the streets in Las Vegas, like near his home. He goes outside the home, pistol whips the dude in the middle of the street. And so he's under like cr crazy investigation in, in Vegas right now. He's going to be going to court. So wow. we're really going to take that guy's opinion on something. Dana White recently revealed the one thing he doesn't like about Conor McGregor. The only issue bothering Dana is that Conor is always late and he never makes it on time. Other than that, he praised him for being an excellent business partner. Here is what he said. Conor McGregor has been an incredible partner to work with. Everybody thinks that Connor, if Connor showed up to things on time, yeah. there wouldn't be one fucking bad thing I could say about yeah. Connor. You know what I mean? Only being late to if, shit. If you fucking said, you put a gun to my fucking head, right? And said, don't lie, motherfucker. Tell me all the bad things about Connor McGregor. I'd say the guy doesn't show up on time. That's it. That's it. If Connor McGregor showed up to shit on time, and sometimes he does, sometimes he does. The former flyweight champion, Brandon Moreno, recently announced that he's taking a break from fighting. He has two losses in a row now, both lost by split decisions, and he believes taking some time off will help him recharge and come back even stronger than before. I feel like I'm at a point in my life where I'm putting in the work. I'm dedicated, but the results just aren't there, and it's very frustrating. This is something that makes me very sad, but something that makes me who I am is that I always find a way to come back. I've reached a point where my mind is stressed, and I just want to rest a bit. I do want to take a break to rest, be with my family, and just be a normal person, be with my daughters, and just do new things. There are many things I haven't done because I'm 100% focused on my training. I just want to rest a bit. This is by no means a goodbye. Just wait for me, have patience, let my body and my mind recover, and we'll come back to do things well. The last time that happened, I came back, and I became a world champion. I like to think I can do the same, and when I return, I'm going to go on a tier. I still think I'm an incredible fighter, and I have all the qualities and abilities to be a champion again. Just need to rest my body and mind. Dana White recently provided an update on the heavyweight title situation. He said that John Jones will fight against Stipe Miocic next, and Tom Ospinall will defend his interim belt against another opponent. Listen, Jones is set to fight Stipe. I hope the winner of that fight will fight, will fight Tom. And can we do that in England if, they, if, they, if that happens? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I think it's crossed. Yeah, I agree. Talk to me about defending an interim title for, for Tom Aspinall. We haven't seen it before in the heavyweight division. Is that something that we could see in 2024? Well, yeah, I mean, if you think right now it's March, right? Who knows? The, John Jones and Stipe, you know, because of the injury and uh, who knows when they'll fight, mm -hmm. it's not right to, to let Tom sit. And if Tom wants to defend the title, we'll absolutely do it. Joe Rogan responded to Conor McGregor saying that acting is harder than fighting. Joe strongly disagreed with that statement and even provided an example asking him what would be harder, to fight with Habib again or going back to acting. Acting is harder than UFC because he's in Roadhouse. That was a quote from Conor. Oh, really? Acting is harder than UFC. Listen to me. UFC. Whoa, that's well, not for true. Him. That's yeah. not true. Because he Even trained for UFC him. his whole life. Okay, act in Roadhouse or fight Khabib again. Shut the fuck Ooh, up. That yeah. is crazy talk. That's crazy talk. I think he probably just meant that he's bad at it. He, he broke bad. his fucking leg yeah. in a fight. He, oh. He broke his leg. Like, that's harder. Yes. That's way yes. harder we're talking than about what's actually acting. harder. I think <laughs> yes. he was just yes. making a statement, a quote. He's... And that wraps today's news. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit the like button and smash the subscribe bell to stay in the loop. Keep supporting the sport and we will see you in the next one.